bus is running great. Yay! Yesterday we had an electrical problem, so we've had a our a sundry of uh, issues. So, thinking uh, the old Makita box. Take off the logo. Doesn't really have anything stamped on the metal. So we can use that, I'm thinking, as a trunk on our little cart. And I bought this little hand saw dealy job. Thought that was kind of cool. And they had these springs for uh, 50 cents a piece, so I grabbed a couple of those. You never know when you might need some of those. And you can see the uh, price on that one dollar. And then this looks like the back of a sidecar to me. And me data. It is ferrous metal. Did check on that. Uh, we got our copper pipe. And to make the actual uh, sidecar, I'm sure my leather seats appreciate me dragging that over them. Oh well. Car that has as many miles on it, you just. Uh, this John Deere green twin bed frame, which is angle iron, will be our sidecar uh, frame as well. And it had these, I bought this one because it had these clamps, and one of them must have fallen off in the car. I had two of those. Let's see where that. Yep, there it is. So there are these two little clamps that I thought uh, we might be able to use to get it to the frame of the bicycle. So there's that. And then I bought uh, also at Restore. Have to go to the other side of the car. Nope, not in that bag. Ah, this bag. I bought these brackets and, and apparently screws that came with them. I didn't know that. So they have this slotted kind of adjusting slide on them, which is the primary reason I bought them. And they're a nice uh, weight steel, a little heavier than Galvi, but um, so I think they're going to add a ton of weight to a bicycle. And then one last thing here. I thought this bar would come in pretty handy. Uh, either to make a handle or make it attached to the bicycle. So, those are our goodies. So here's what we've got after uh, the other day of shaping things up over a canoe. Um, cut a piece of wood and put the shell around it and actually ended up bringing it in about, I cut about eight inches off the back and just brought this up closer. I actually went and got my kiddo and set him down in it and I think it's going to be plenty big for a while. So I'm not going to have to get too concerned about size. I did kick it pretty hard and I cracked it right here, but I have to uh, put a couple more layers of fiberglass on it, uh, resin on it anyway, after I get uh, these side panels in and pull this straight with glass over that. But that, this turned out pretty nice actually. I'm pretty pleased with how that turned out. So there'll be a windshield that will look something like this, with the sides bent in like that, or something like that. And then I have planned to do a rotating top that will actually snap onto the windshield uh, for when it's raining. These look like cracks here. They're not. It's actually the where the wax paper was on the back. 
the only little crack I've got is right there. Right where that tape was. I'm sure it's probably because it didn't bond real well right there. Uh, what I'm working on now is trying to kind of get this dash panel um, foot reservoir kind of mocked up. Um, so I'm going to cut this section out so he can put his feet through there. But this gives us a ridge pole support and a side support and something to kind of screw the windshield into. And then the sides um, will have to be done probably in three pieces. Um, so we'll do something like this. And then one more little skinny piece. But what happens when you when you do that? Get the light on there. It really pulls in the side. So this will be cut even with that all the way around. And then I will sand down right here. We'll glass over this. Then we'll glass over the whole thing. Um, and I'll probably just the, the front is really strong. It's got about five layers up here. And the thickness, if you look on the inside, is significantly more to the edges I left because I wanted them to be flexible. And I actually brought it, brought the whole thing in quite a bit. Here's the turtle shell section that I cut out. Um, <laughs> and you can see, I'll put that on there. If I put that even with where I cut, that's how much I brought it in. And that's how much I cut off the back, too. But pretty cool. I'm still going to use this piece, and I'll just cut it uh, with this, probably. Make the little other tabs that snap on the back, and make a little tab here that snaps to that. And again, this is just that. I didn't get all the wax paper peeled off the back. But I'm probably going to keep that and use it as a cockpit cover and when it's in storage. Just lash the edges with some leather or something. This, this piece is really stable, so definitely don't have to worry about re-glassing that one because it's not going to be that critical. So, garage is a mess. I've been trying to make a pattern. This is what works for me. So, got that little uh, Magna bike for the wheels for free. Um, went to Bloomington Bike Project tonight and got a couple parts. That was among them. So, both tires look pretty good and uh, it has a coaster brake on it, so I'm going to try to do a coaster brake hookup with this. So it'll have three brakes on it. It'll have the front brake on the tandem, the disc brake on the tandem, and then the coaster brake on the uh, sidecar, so it'll have three brakes. That'll be enough. I'm going to try and get them all to control in one lever. So I don't know if it's possible to do a coaster brake. Um, control by sprocket and cable, but we're going to try and see what we come up with. So I'm going to try and cut this out and kind of see what that looks like and then um, I don't know if I'm going to run a steering wheel for him or not or just do some dash with gauges and rear lights that light up. So we'll just kind of play along with it as we, <laughs> as we get ideas. So. I'm going to cut that out and we'll, we'll see what we get. So I goofed. I thought that was the point that was hitting and I cut it off and that actually was correct. Um, you can see I need to tweak the pattern just a little bit more. I need to widen that side and widen up here just a little bit and there as well. Uh, height wise here, here, and down here I think we're pretty good. I think it's going to look I think that's going to look okay. I'm um, doing the, the cutout um, for his feet. 
got to keep him from kicking it, though. So, anyway, sorry about that. I need to just widen this a little bit. Widen this just a hair, because that's going to that's gonna suck in when I put a screw through it. And then that needs to be added back in. Still need to add a little bit there and there. But overall, not too bad. I'd actually be happy even if that were the final product. I uh, would like to close this gap in here. I don't know. Try one more pattern. It's getting kind of late. Time to it. Oh, it's almost one. Yeah, I probably should quit. One more, and then I quit. Okay, so here we go. It isn't perfect, but uh, the alignment's much better. And I think once it's cut from a piece of wood, it's gonna be just fine. So I think we're gonna I think we're gonna go with that one. I don't think I'm gonna get much better. I mean, it's I'm pretty close. I can put something on the edge of it if I need to. So sorry, I skipped ahead a little bit on the sidecar. Uh, cutting and that kind of stuff. I also cut, I need to sand them, they're still really sharp, but cut that so it'll line up with the car. Yeah, it's pretty good. These visual bobbles that you can kind of see in the light, um, you really, there's really nothing there. Just, you can kind of see the light reflecting differently on it. The only one you can actually feel is right there. And probably that one too. But, uh, I don't really know that it's even worth doing body work on. It's kind of my idea around the border. This is just a piece of leather. You just kind of make it go around. It's kind of hard to do one-handed. Yeah, let me stand you up here. I mean, I'd have been in the there. So we can go with that. Hopefully, you can see from there. So, do something kind of like that. Around the edge. Soften it up a little bit. And kind of bring everything together, too. Obviously, it's not far enough back there. Pretty enough tension to keep it in there. Alright. So, I think before I go to bed to make it a little easier tomorrow, because I would like to get all these uh, little boards cut tomorrow. So, I think I'm just going to stand this guy here up in there, mark him, or put a piece of cardboard in there and mark it. And I'll have to mark all the way over in sections, but I think this is about the right width, just these two boards here, and then one more little skinny one that probably won't have this lip on it unless I glue it in there and then glass over it somehow, so yeah, I'll go ahead and make some patterns for these and then I am probably going to call it a night. Thank you, Kyogen, for your cardboard. Look at our windshield turned the other way. Yeah. Just gonna do a plexiglass windshield. You can walk curve down. Alright, that's all for tonight, folks. Stay tuned. So I did a little more work on the sidecar, or getting ready to start it. I just got home from my real job. Whoops. Wrong way on the light. Oh, that's the this one. Oh, turned on. 
And I want to do um, a little bumper. Let me turn on another light here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that did not help. I wanted to do a little bumper that's going to come up over and down and then go back under the cart. And that's going to serve twofold, just a bumper for aesthetics to kind of make this not look such like a flat window panel from, from your house. Uh, and then it'll extend on past and then you'll pull it out, stick it in two slots. Let me see if I can find kind of a piece I can show you what I'm talking about. So let's see, let's pretend this is straight. And so there'll be one here, one here, and that handle will fit and actually under the cart there'll be like this. And that handle will slide in and up on top when you want to use it as a stroller. So I have an old lawnmower that picked up for a dollar. That's a little over 16. And uh, I was going to see if this little handle that's on my dollar lawnmower will fit. Might be a little bit bigger, but let's see what we got here. Might actually be about right. Cooperate. Gonna be perfect. It's like right at 17. Actually, this one up top is probably a little bigger because it extends beyond. Yeah, but that's got the bend in it up on top. And I may be able to make that bend a little uh, steeper and bring these sides in too. So I think that's gonna work. I may even be able to use these brackets uh, that are mounted down here. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. And then I was looking at these wheels too. This, though, those might actually make if I pop this little. I'm sure, that's just like a little dust cover. I don't know. I guess it's all the way through. So, I might be able to use that as a swivel wheel though if I modify it slightly for the front of my little uh, stroller cart. So let me uh, let me get a few things lined up. And we will um, see if we can't get the rest of this cart fiberglass for tonight. And maybe get the poles or whatnot underneath that. You know, I may be able to use that lawnmower handle as a frame too, but it's it's probably not thick enough metal. Um, this doesn't have to be super heavy duty, but I do want it to be able to hold roughly a five-year-old. Um, and this this stuff here that I used for the uh, bracket is actually overkill. It's more than, than what I need, certainly, but I didn't want any, any issues with it coming apart there, or pulling apart, and causing the rider to have a problem um, either. So did get that wood piece. Got a little bit of sanding to do uh, right there, that little bobble. Um, but my husband got that cut for me first try. Everything fits great. And then uh, the plan is to just kind of uh, make this one piece now instead of, of multiple pieces. And I'll just fill this probably with great stuff or some kind of foam and then glass over it. I may not even have to. If I push, put the screw in at the right spot up here, we may, we may get lucky. And we can just use one piece down there. So that's kind of the plan for tonight. <coughs> to get this thing, the rest of it glassed in. Get it to the point where I can kind of start putting things together. And uh, really starting to kind of finalize the shape. Um, there's a few, there are a few little wrinkles um, on it. But I'm, I'm going to turn it on its side and glass each side again. So that hopefully by just gravity flow. Um, it'll kind of smooth some of that out a little bit. So hopefully we'll get to that point tonight and uh, I'll be able to maybe slap some paint on it and start putting the interior in it um, tomorrow. So this is what I come up with for the uh, little dash. 
Uh, it's got my grimy handprints all over it. But uh, it'll sit level when I cut the hole because it's actually just, you can see it's slightly off. But uh, we have the Dalton car. Uh, so yeah, went to the Goodwill. Had something that looked like that. Had a clock in it. Uh, this mechanism was pretty close to what I wanted. It's got a little bit of scratch on the lens, but I think on the plastic. You could go get that headlight restore stuff or use toothpaste. Toothpaste works pretty well uh, for something like that. Rub it on and maybe get that scratch out of there. It doesn't really show up that much, but I wish it was more of a crystal clear. But And then uh, I bought some Christmas lights. So I'll kind of set that behind it and it'll give it that kind of glow at night. So I'll take these bulbs out and solder to the back side of them. So. Uh, I was going to put a couple more dash light type things here. I, I don't know. I still may drill a hole through them and put something on there. Uh, I had a couple other little pieces and things I was going to use for that, but uh, I, I don't know that it really needs it. Like, uh, I had these things here. I had a couple toggle switches. Oh, in the horde I did find a classic. So, uh, be digging that out. So, you know, I was thinking maybe take little laser ends off. I don't know. Because I could definitely get a light in behind those. I'm just putting one of those on each side. Something like that. And then the toggle switch I'll probably just uh, mount in somewhere over here. Now this one's, this one's kind of vintage looking. But it doesn't light up. This one lights up. So, I don't know. And then I have this little um, button or door stop or whatever that was originally. Uh, I could work in, I don't know, somewhere over here. Uh, so that's kind of kind of what I was thinking. You know, and I could even, could even make these stack on one side. Like that, maybe. Pull knobs. I wish I could make them pull knobs. That would be really fun. Where they turn on a light or something. Pull them and it turns on the dash light. That would be cool. Well, probably I'm not fortunate enough where that will fit. Where that am I? No. Uh, so, I don't know. Play around with it a little bit. Those look kind of cool in there. And if I put a light behind those, I could put a green or red light behind those. So driving down the road at night, you'd have, you know, whatever light. Probably blue and pink. Red looks pretty cool too, though. Red light behind there. What's the blue look like? Yeah, I don't know. Probably the blue or the red. What you thinking? Pink? Anyway, that's kind of where I'm where I'm headed uh, with that. One of these doesn't have a hole in it. This one is the one that doesn't have a hole in it. So the tip of that would want to poke through. I'll have to cut a piece of... Yeah. Kind of pokes through. Right there. Yeah, those might look kind of good back there. Yeah, we'll think about that. Ponder that for a for a bit. I just want it to be kind of fun. So, I uh, did get all of the uh, panels cut for this guy. So all of those should be able to be put in there tonight. Um, these would drop down accommodate this and actually he is back now with my hole saw so 
Uh, I'm going to cut it short and we'll pop you back on once we get going.